Hello Internet, welcome to the third and final installment of Boundary Condition Tutorial. Today we'll discuss boundary conditions, uh, magnetic boundary conditions between two magnetic materials. Now, we need to find B, which is magnetic flux density's normal component, B is tangential component, magnetic field intensity's normal component, and magnetic field intensity's tangential component. And once we are able to find that, we'll be able to find resultant H, resultant B, because they are sum of the tangential and normal components. That is what the idea behind is. Uh, magnetic boundary conditions again are derived from Maxwell's equations. We take up a boundary with mu1, mu2. This is medium 1, medium 2. To find the normal component we take up a cylinder we assume the flux to be coming out of every direction and we know the Maxwell's equation B dot ds is equivalent to zero we say that from top it is coming from bottom it is coming out and from sides also And this one gets cancelled out because of the small length delta H. What we are left with is the top and the bottom. And uh, we need to find the direction in uh, going from either medium 1 to 2 or from 2 to 1. For that, we'll need to reverse the uh, flux density's direction in one case. So what I'll do is I'll, I'll do B in 1 delta S minus B in 2, two delta S is equal to 0. And delta S cannot be 0. So what I'm left with is B in 1 is equal to B in 2, which clearly states that B is continuous at normal component of B is continuous at the boundary of two magnetic materials. Simple. B n one upon B n two is one, but is E N one upon uh, I'm sorry, is H N one upon H N two one? No. Because B is equal to mu H. So mu one H N one upon mu two H N two will be equal to one. However, H N one upon H N two will not be equal to one. There will be mu two upon mu one. So this is Result number one, this is result number two. So what I'll say is, this was a statement for result number one. We'll say normal component of H is not continuous at the boundary of two magnetic materials. Simple. And in order to find the tangential component, we'll take help of this. 1, 2, 2 dash, 3, 4, 4 dash, and we'll rotate H this time around. And we'll take help of this equation, Maxwell's equation 
and SODL is 1 or uh, I enclosed and when we go full circle from 1 to 2 to 2 dash to 3, 4, 4 dash to 1 we get 1 to 2 H dot DL 2 to 2 dash H dot DL 2 dash to 3 H dot DL 3 to 4 H dot DL 4 to 4 dash H dot DL 4 dash to 1 H dot DL is equal to 0 2 to 2 dash gets cancelled with 4 dash to 1 because they are equal and opposite in same medium 4 dash to 1 and 2 dash to 3 gets cancelled with 4 to 4 dash equal opposite same medium so what we are left with is H T1 by the way 1 to 2 is H T1 this is the tangential component width P delta W minus H T2 delta W minus because I'll reverse the direction they become equivalent to some constant I enclosed so H T1 minus H T2 I enclosed upon delta W which becomes a constant but the fact of the matter is H tangential is not continuous and substituting B is equal to mu H and substituting B is equal to mu H we'll find that the tangential component of B is also not continuous so result number 1 Result number two, result number three, result number four, easy. And once we know that what components are continuous, what components are not continuous, we'll be able to find the resultant vectors easily at the boundary of two magnetic materials. And I hope this quick tutorial was helpful. Thank you so much for watching this video series on boundary conditions. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. Consider subscribing to the channel. Have a good day ahead. Bye.